Yo, what's up? So uh, this is another episode of uh, Jump Chat, and we're going through front-end uh, developer questions. So questions you're likely to get during a technical interview for a web developer or front-end job. So this question is, uh, what are the problems associated with serving a document using the application slash X, X HTML or XML uh, uh, MIME type or content type? So we covered um, XHTML and, and what it is uh, in a, a previous episode, but to give you the TLDR, it's a, a very strict version of HTML. It's based upon another language called XML. Um, so it's so structured and so strict that if you don't follow the rules, bad things can happen. So when you serve a page to a browser, and you tell it that you want it to be rendered as XHTML uh, plus or slash XML, uh, you want to be pretty sure that it's definitely well structured and well written according to the rules. Uh, otherwise, it will break. Um, for me personally, I don't see a very good reason to use the XHTML uh, document type or content type unless. You, you know you have to because it's so strict and you can run into these problems. Um, it's really not worth the hassle unless you know exactly why you're doing it. Um, another thing is that uh, an issue that can come up when you serve the pages as X, HTML, uh, XML is uh, legacy browsers. Some really old browsers don't even recognize that, that type. Um, so you can see here, this is uh, Can I Use, which is a really useful website. You'll see most of the modern browsers do support it, but definitely some of the older ones like IE, blah, 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 everything until 11, uh, probably weren't, I don't know, that's a joke, maybe up to like eight or something. But um, that's something you gotta watch out for. Um, and yeah, it's also, uh, you might actually take the time to write a page using valid X HTML, but um, depending on how your server is configured, uh, sometimes it will just default to uh, sending a content type of HTML or text slash HTML. So all of that good work will go to waste anyway. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, that covers what are some of the problems with uh, sending through this application slash uh, X HTML, XML uh, content type. I would just suggest don't really use it unless you have a great idea or like you really need to use it for some reason. Uh, and if you give an answer roughly like that, it will show you have some idea about uh, what you're talking about. And once again, I'm going through all these questions and, and some of them like, I've been coding for a few years, but some of them I just don't know. And so I'm kind of researching them again as I go through these videos. If you find a mistake, or I've just said something completely wrong, totally comment, tell me I'm an idiot, tell me why, uh, I, would, I would appreciate that. If you enjoyed this, or you wanna um, get some more tips on doing interviews, uh, sub somewhere around here, or like it, recommend it, and check out JumpJet. Okay, thank you.